Hi, this is Travis with POSKies.com. Today I wanted to review some wireless options in regards to taking your Ethernet or LAN printer and then putting them onto a wireless network. Or if you don't have a wireless network, a way to put your printer in another room uh, without having to run a cable. So there are a few different options here. The most basic, this is a uh, Wi-Fi range extender. It's um, about 30 bucks um, for a new version of it. Uh, and you kind of get what you pay for. Um, it works pretty well. You just plug into an outlet. Um, this manufacturer has an app. You load up the app, uh, put in your uh, wireless network information, and then you can just plug a wired device into it just like you had a wall outlet uh, for your network. And so this is a LAN TSP100. It's connected through ethernet and then, if I... and I'm just gonna do a simple test print. Uh, so there you go. So this is the most basic of the adapters. Uh, so you kind of get what you pay for. The range on this is limited and uh, the stability is also limited. This one tends to lose connection to the Wi-Fi network. Um, and it either has to be uh, hard rebooted um, or there'll just be downtime. Uh, next up is the one that has antennas. This is labeled as a wireless repeater, um, but when we set it up, it works exactly the same way. Instead of an app, it has a website. Um, it supposedly has more range than the other one and it's a little more stable, but it works exactly the same. Um, it creates an extended network that uh, you'll probably want to disable anyways. Um, and then it just has, it has two ports on the bottom and you can uh, connect your wired device to it. Secondly, we have a travel router. Um, so this one we thought would be a little bit different, uh, but essentially it, does, it works the same way. Uh, there's a, it's a different shape. There's an ethernet port and it's powered through USB on it. It has, this has different modes, but the mode you're gonna use is the range extender mode. Uh, it's also labeled access point. It kind of has the same feature point. Normally when you use it as access point, then you need a wired connection and it just adds an antenna, uh, but you want to extend the network. So um, with the travel router, you just want to make sure that it can extend the network. If you have a mesh network system, you basically have the same thing. So whether you have like a, a Google-based system or Amazon or uh, whatever brand your mesh network is, most of the mesh access points also have a network port on them for connecting wired devices. Uh, that works really well. As, um, and so you can sometimes just move your access point close to your printer or just add another uh, access point to your mesh network and you can then remotely connect to your printer. The last device, this one is a little different and this is a point-to-point -point tethering device. So this might look similar to one of these, but what you get with this is a matching pair. So with this matching pair, one of these gets attached to your, uh, your switch or your router, you know, this is your wire network, and then the other one plugs into the printer and that's it. So you're not connecting it to the wireless network, you're connecting the two ends to each other and just think it's like an invisible cable. So once you plug one into your printer, one in, into your switch or router, that's it, that's done. You don't have to have a wireless network. Um, and this has a lot of range. Uh, this brand in particular says it has up to a half mile range. We didn't test that, but uh, in our internal testing, we went from one end to the office to the other and we didn't have any problems with the, the two uh, beacons talking to each other. So. These are really good if you only have a wire network. You don't have any kind of wireless network set up. And these are good if you have a wireless network and you're trying to talk to like a tablet or something like that with a LAN based printer so you can get your wired printer onto your wireless network. So those are some options if you want to get a wired printer either onto your wireless network or just have it remote and you don't want to run a long wire across your kitchen or your business, whatnot. Um, so either point to point adapters, uh, range extenders, wireless bridges, they're called a few different things, but what you're looking for is ethernet ports and the ability to extend your network out. For more information or to purchase, please visit us at bosguys.com. Thanks.